Kenya presidential election is always highly profiled as a result of it being conducted within a short period of time, thus making it a do or die adventure. The continuous campaign mood in the country has been occasioned by the perception that elections are held within the short period of five years. In any election period, we lose a whole year in campaigns, and another year is lost immediately after election because of the litigations in the Supreme Court and thereafter transition period of new government settling down in the formation of new government, such as cabinet vetting by parliament, an appointment of the same, including senior government officials, we lose two years in a period of five years, leaving only three years for a president and new government to work. It is therefore justifiable to increase the presidential term limit to seven years per term totaling to 14 years if, it is, if someone is reelected to office. I am cognizant that these proposals shall alter the governance structure as envisaged in the Constitution of Kenya, which in turn shall be subjected to public referendum or popular initiative as highlighted under Article 257 of the Constitution of Kenya 2010. To the critics, let's meet in the contest because our Constitution envisages amendment of the Constitution at any given time so long as the threshold is met. We should not, uh, and I want to assure my critics that I'm one of the few people who cannot be intimidated or blackmailed or coerced into following a certain uh, opinion simply because you think you are too brilliant or too right than anybody else. As a leader who has served for many years in this country, I respect the opinion of everybody. I've seen the opinions of Kenyans who are dissenting, and that is the beauty of democracy. And uh, I hope the National Dialogue Committee will not be swayed uh, uh, by these pedestrian remarks by even leaders and, uh, and Kenyans. They should look at the, the meat and the substrata 